All right, let's review the concepts of symmetry for functions, the terms odd, even, and neither. And we'll do that by doing question eight on our chapter one worksheet, which we're using for our test review. So let's look, so you can see I've got my work done here already. So let's kind of go through why I'm doing what I'm doing, which we did learn about back in uh, I want to say section one or section two of chapter one. Don't remember exactly where it was. So if we have um, an even function, let's look at what even would look like. An even function is symmetric. That's a terrible y-axis. An even function would be symmetric to the y-axis. So that means for a point over here at x, y, there would be a matching point over here at negative x, y. So graphically, that's what it looks like. But algebraically, what we're looking for is that if we plug a negative x into our function, we should still get the same y value, right? So for this function, oh, that's not the even one this one is. So for this function, 3x to the fourth plus 2x squared plus 1, Obviously, plugging in an x value gives us this y value. Of course, this is not knowing exactly what x value is, but that doesn't matter, whatever number it is. You could pick a number if you wanted to, and you would get a certain y value. Well, let's plug in the opposite of that x value, and when we do, the even powers cancel out the negatives, because a negative times a negative is a positive, gets rid of those negatives we just plugged in, and we begin... Um, Rather, we end up with the exact same equation we started with. So it doesn't matter whether we plug in x or negative x, we get exactly the same y value. When that happens, we call that an even function. And yes, it might have something to do with the exponents are even, but be careful of that. Anyway, um, and that just means it has symmetry. It's symmetric to the y-axis line symmetry down the middle, right? Okay, well, when a function is odd, that means, let me just do a little picture over here, that it has symmetry to the origin. So if we have a point to x comma y, then we have a matching point across the origin at negative x negative y. So what should happen with that algebraically is if we plug in a negative x value, we should get the opposite y value so that this point and that point are symmetric as they rotate around the origin giving us an odd type of symmetry okay so that's odd symmetry okay so looking at problem a we plug in a negative we get negative 3x cubed minus 2x i probably didn't have to do this next step but i just wanted to show that if i take out that negative inside is my original y value, right, that I started with right here. And so this is the negative of that original y value. It's the entire equation multiplied through by a negative. So that's an odd function with odd symmetry, symmetric to the origin. Symmetric to origin. Sometimes we forget that symmetry doesn't have to just be Fold it in half. Does it look the same on both sides? It can also be flip it upside down. Does it still look the same? Or other angles, right? Okay, so odd is symmetric to the origin. If x, if you have a point at x comma y, then you would also have a point at negative x, negative y. So plugging in a negative x should give you a negative y. If it's even, plugging in a positive x gives you a positive y. Plugging in a negative x should give you the same positive y because it's symmetric to the y-axis. Now, this is just one example. What if plugging in a, an x value gave you a negative y value? Well, this isn't saying that y has to be a positive value. It's just saying that these two y values have to match, whatever they are. It doesn't matter whether we're plugging in a positive x or a negative x. We're getting the same y value across the y-axis for both points. Um, neither, of course, is when you have something that breaks the rule. So this one has negative 3x cubed minus 2x plus 1 after we plug in that negative x. And our original is 3x cubed plus 2x plus 1 
So this is neither the opposite y value, nor is it the exact same y value. It is going to be different by adding one to it at the end, which is a completely different y value.